about 30 kilometers south east from Reykjavik you find this amazing crater called Sidri Eldborg crater and it is uh, a volcano that erupted about 1900 years ago and I was flying drone about it today the lava that was coming from this crater which is not as impressive in size is only about 375 meters in height covered the territory larger than Fagradal's Fjall eruption there had been two craters this one in northern Eldborg crater which is situated just 500 uh, meters further north and it was effusive lava flow there was no ash coming just uh, smooth lava flowing out of this volcano perhaps in the course of uh, a year or so and that's how it looks today it's very similar in shape to Fagradal Sviat and more or less in height as well and I guess this is how Fagradal Sviat volcano will look like in some 2000 years and uh, will give you some idea of the future of Fagradal Sviat and how volcanoes in Iceland develop through time it is situated in the highlands between uh, Reykjavik and Thorlaksop. Usually, weather here is very bad, but I was lucky today it was a sunny day. But still, you see, snow is remaining in the mountains in Iceland, and uh, you can also see uh, visible uh, pathways of the lava flow and lava channels that had been flowing from this volcano and spreading across the vast territories back then 1900 years ago it was about 100 years uh, AD Iceland was uninhabited then nobody was living then there was no infrastructure but we can't be sure about that 100% because they did find houses in Iceland that um, predate the official date of settlement of Iceland in the 9th century the first official settlers arrived here uh, in the late 9th century from Norway but there had been Irish monks living here before about for about one century before them and perhaps there had been uh, other people living here uh, perhaps for even for centuries nobody knows and, uh, but at least we don't have much ecological evidence about that and for sure they hadn't been living here in the highlands so this was uh, innocent eruption it didn't cause any harm to anybody except uh, perhaps some species of uh, birds or or animals uh, like arctic fox or some plants uh, only vegetation was uh, harmed so this is how this crater looks from the top you see a lot of presence of a lot of iron the red texture is um, uh, iron oxidized iron and you see to the to the right a clear lava channel as had been flowing the same channel you find also in Fagradalsfjall so enjoy this video this is a moss uh, on the slopes of the volcano it's very soft it's really cool to run down from this volcano on this moss it feels like a sponge very spongy thick layer of moss that surrounds this crater and this is the lava, the lava channels, you see numerous lava channels that lava was uh, moving across this lava field. This is in this territory that lava flooded. It's uh, incredible what was going on here in that time. It would be great to be witness to that. Perhaps we will witness such eruption again uh, in our um, age. Uh, because recently as you know we had very strong earthquakes in Iceland one of the earthquakes by the way took place right here about one kilometer from here in Threngsli and it was the strongest one but it was uh, isolated earthquake just one earthquake or a few small earthquakes around it and that's it nothing after that and we don't know if it's due to the magma intrusion or due to the earthquakes which are rather often frequent in this area due to the tectonic rift that runs across this valley 
uh, all the way to Thing Butler and across uh, there are many such rifts through Reykjanes Peninsula we are in Reykjanes Peninsula in the easternmost parts of the peninsula south uh, from Reykjavik so enjoy this video from Iceland I wish you all the best uh, be well <laughs>